the NEC in its NEC decision number 51 over 2021 has directed finance department to immediately dispose all remaining stocks of APEC vehicles and put to rest the prolonged APEC issues. The Department of Finance, with support from Royal PNG Constabulary, has issued a seven-day ultimatum to recall a total of 102 APEC vehicles, which are in the hands of unauthorized persons. The seven-day ultimatum period has lapsed on Thursday, 16th September, and to date no person has surrendered the APEC vehicles. Minister for Finance and Rural Development, Sir John Pundari, said the Department of Finance has already taken full stock of those assets and is progressively preparing to dispose all these assets through public tender. You mangali morsla car, you kaveti morsla car, now you only for three years finish. It's high time you retain those vehicles immediately, now no can give him a hard time. Said John said the finance department has requested the engagement of police, RTA and MVIL to establish a collective task force to recoup all outstanding APEC vehicles. The designated officers are all ready to execute the recovery of the missing APEC vehicles. Time APEC meeting and finish. The first thing any responsible citizens in the public domain with those public vehicles, you should have returned them immediately. State purchased a total of 326 APEC vehicles in 2018. Of the total, 119 low-end state purchased APEC vehicles have already been allocated and distributed to various government departments, public and statutory bodies, district and provincial governments, and SOEs to be utilized for their administrative purposes. The Finance Department is in the process of disposing the remaining 207 APEC vehicles, both high-end and low-end vehicles, through public tender. Some of these fleets are now with agencies and individuals and they have been advised to bring back for disposal. For instance, more than 15 vehicles are now utilized on COVID-19 operations by health, police and defense on temporary basis and about 98 vehicles are in the hands of unauthorized individuals. Fredimo, TV1 News.